Hello everyone, how are you? It is B, and we are here to go over the daily reading for around the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 26th, 27th, 28th, right in there. Let's see what we've got going on for the collective. Some of you have been asking for more readings. Um, I may do some more, uh, but I need another break in order to do some more personal readings. So um, I may put some out. It just depends. We'll see when the time frame comes in, but I, I will put some out hopefully here in the next week or so. I want to thank all of you who have gotten readings from me, and I hope that those readings have helped you, uh, guided you in a direction that is uh, for your highest good. Again, you take the information, you make your own decisions off of that information. Okay, let's see what we got going on for the collective for right around the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. I mean, usually daily readings, they've, they've got like a window of two to three to four days. So either way. So just be aware of that. All right, let's go ahead and let's pray over the deck. Bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles. Yeah, you know, someone is really stepping in to their divine feminine energy. Um, I'm hearing, I don't deal with no scrubs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't deal with no scrubs. All right. This person is very aligned. They're extremely powerful in their own way. Doesn't mean they have to be a multimillionaire. They're just powerful in their own way. They, they know how to set boundaries um, they know that they are a loving being. They know that they are all that. And, and I know this is an old saying, but all that and a bag of chips, they, they know what their value is. They know what their worth is. They know that they are, um, faithful, loyal, entrepreneurial, um, committed, regimented, I love this energy. This is really, really good energy here. Let's get some cards to see what the energy is coming out as. I'm hearing somebody say, you want to play that game, you can go someplace else. I don't play games anymore. I'm done. I don't play games anymore. I'm done. I know what my value is. This could also be somebody finally seeing their value as well. Let's see what we've got here. Wow, this has a king of swords in their head. Huge. Um, this king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, or a third Deccan Taurus, is thinking a lot right now. They're thinking You know, I have to be honest with you. I think somebody is obsessing over someone. They're obsessing about, you know, what somebody else is doing. They're in contemplation about their accomplishments and what they've accomplished up to this point. 
what they've created up to this point and are they proud of that or because he's in deep thought and if he did accomplish something then why is he in deep thought i think he's thinking about someone else accomplishing something and maybe putting themselves out there, they're maybe just paying attention to their own lives now. You know, and, wow, I'm hearing what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Oh my goodness, what? Oh, that flew out on its side, so we're going to keep that on its side. So, and now we've got two cards here. This is really, really interesting. Let's see what's coming out before we do, which I forgot. And I said I was going to do this for 21 days. So uh, let's say our prayer. Okay, so all y'all get ready for this. For those of you that want to listen to the prayer. Isaiah 54, 17, New King James Version. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me saith the Lord. Like I said, guys, anybody who has wronged you, anybody who has done something to deceive or lie or manipulate you, the Lord will take care of it. Let the Lord do its work. Do his work, her work, whatever. Let universe do it. Let spirit do it. You don't need to bother yourself with this anymore. You need to live your life you need to start charging forward, moving ahead. And I think many of you are charging forward and moving ahead. What's the first card out? The world. A completion phase might be coming up. Um, ending a cycle. Someone was stuck in a karmic cycle and that's kind of just what it is and there right now there's a lot of karmics out there that are hella mad right now because they don't know how to access their divine feminine or their divine masculine but the world is coming in and saying you know what it's time to end this it's time to complete this phase. Now, it could be that you stay in the same situation, but it's going into a new phase because maybe there's a talk, maybe there's a conversation, maybe there's a change of energy or a, a switch up. I'm hearing a switch up. I don't know what that means. Someone switching up their energy is what I'm hearing. Like they're no longer... Kind of going back to this Nine of Pentacles, someone doesn't want to deal with a scrub. Someone doesn't want to deal with a loafer. Someone doesn't want to deal with a gold digger. Someone doesn't want to deal with, you know, drama. They want it to be done with. They want it to be over with. This Nine of Pentacles lady, she might be getting ready to travel the world. Or she's talked about traveling the world or just traveling in general. What is the next card? Six of, six of Cups. <laughs> this is interesting. Someone does not want something to end. They they don't want someone to go. They don't want something to be completed. And, you know, for some of you out there, you might be hearing from this person saying, you're my soulmate, you're my this, you're my that. I love you. I want to be with you. I want to do this. I want to do that. It's up to you, okay, what you do with that. But this could also be something about the children coming in. 
some sort of completion phase coming in with the children. Maybe your children are going to college. Maybe they're graduating. Could be graduating from high school, graduating from middle school, graduating from college. And there's this ending with the children. But I am feeling for some of you, this is a, this is a reversed world. Like someone doesn't want something to end. What is the next card? Nine of Wands, yeah. I feel as though this Nine of Pentacles person, they're just, they're just really focused on themselves right now. They don't want to be disturbed. They don't want to be messed with. They don't want to be manipulated. They don't, you know, they've, they've worked really hard for what they have. Really hard. You know, they may have 50,000 in the bank. They may have a quarter of a mil, you know, in savings or in investments. They may be doing really, really well on their own. They're not just going to give that away to anybody. I think someone here is defending their accomplishments. And I think someone here is um, doing what needs to be done in order to keep some sort of contemplative or, or even like ruminating energies out of their head. They want to... They're, they're fighting off the desire to have to know something and just live their life. Someone definitely may be back on the market. Someone may be back on the market now. But we'll find out why that is. Why is the world card here? Five of Wands. Someone, like I said, someone doesn't want drama anymore. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want competition anymore. This goes back to this Knight of Pen or this Nine of Pentacles saying, look, I don't fight. I don't compete. You don't put me in a competitive situation. You don't Pit me against something else because of your own insecurities. I don't need this. I got better things to do. I got better things to do. That's an old country song. I might have to look that up and put that link below. <laughs> Yeah, but somebody wants to um, end this conflict, internal or external. They want to end it. Someone might be getting rid of a competitive energy, for example... Maybe there's a boss here or a manager. Maybe it's this Nine of Pentacles person. And these two people have been vying for the same job. And they notice that one of them just keeps creating a bunch of conflict. And then the other one is just a very good worker. Yeah, they stand up for themselves and they stand up for the company. Um, they may be seen a little bit. Like, you know, they cause conflict, but they're just a really, really good at what they do. So this manager is like, look, you know, um, I've got this person that causes conflict just to cause conflict. And then I've got this person that causes conflict when it's necessary. I'm getting rid of the one that causes all the conflict. They got to go. 
This could also be something going on at work where someone is creating conflict or there's a lot of drama and HR steps in or someone else steps in and says, okay, enough is enough, guys. Let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and put this to rest. We don't, we don't need this type of energy around here anymore. You either come correct or we're going to start disciplining people. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Chariot. Movement forward. Quick movement forward. Um, travel. Focus. Direction. Victory. Someone is traveling to have a victory with the children or someone is traveling to have a victory with a soulmate. Wanting to regain this, um, go back to the good old times, you know, that type of energy. Why is the Nine of Wands here? This could also be Cancerian energy as well. Why is someone defending what they've built or what they have to offer? I mean, really, I'm seeing this as someone is defending what they have to offer. And if someone has abused that, now they have to defend against losing what they've already lost. So there is defensive posturing here. Four of Pentacles, I think someone is defending their, their value and their integrity because someone was very selfish. Someone held on to something or someone is holding on to something and they're very defensive about that. Maybe money, stability. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Money. There's an energy here of... I got to be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm just going to say it. There's an energy here of breadcrumbing. I don't know if you've ever heard of that phrase. But it's where... Someone is really living in their ego. They're really um, full of themselves. And it's like they train the other person, they force the other person to take less than. And now someone is saying, I'm not doing this anymore. Sorry, I'm not doing this anymore. Not happening. I deserve so much more than what I've been getting. And I've been giving, but that giving stops. I'm going to stop giving now. Because why? To get breadcrumbed? To get um, little to nothing? And this definitely has someone in their feels right now. And these are feelings associated with overthinking. What's the side energy coming in? The moon. Wow. Fears. Half in, half out. It's almost like this, this Nine of Pentacles person, they're like, you know what, I, I'm fearful. I, I don't want to start over again. I, I don't want to have to, you know, all, all of everything I put into this that I defended, it didn't celebrate me. So maybe it is time for me to go. Maybe it is time for me to walk away. If someone here is just going to sit and think, 
why am I still here? I, I've got so much to offer. I've got so much that I deserve. Am I fearful about this? Am I fearful of moving on? Am I fearful of making the wrong decision? You bet I am, but but am I just going to stay stuck in this? This is also the energy of this King of Swords being very fearful as well about whether or not someone has already moved on because of their indecision or because... of their, their past, their defensiveness, their treatment of this Nine of Pentacles. I, I just, I, it really just floors me, guys. Let's see what we got going on for some clarifiers here. There is a shift. I'm telling you, there is a big, big shift here. And this has got some King of Swords person in their head, like, big time. They are just, they are floored. They don't even know what to do at this point. They just don't even know what to do. This is why the world is here. This is why Six of Cups is here. This is why the Nine of Wands is here. And this is why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Someone's shook. They're shook. And I almost feel like the reason they're shook is because someone is not acting the way that they thought they would act. And it might be bringing up some fears, like something they went through from the past. get into this. Why is something being completed? Yeah, because someone waited too long. Someone waited too long and somebody may have done something foolish. They, they took a risk perhaps that they shouldn't have taken. Could also be because someone has waited such a long time. They want to be free of this. They're, they don't want any more breadcrumbs. They just don't. They just, they're done. They're done. You can't come correct, then just don't. You're not going to give me that promotion? Then see ya. You're, I, I mean, I've worked for this. This is, this is me. This is us. This is the collective. You're going to sit here and make me wait? Then see ya. I don't, don't want to be ya. Have fun in your karmic cycle. Bye-bye. Six of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. An offer coming in. Money coming in for a child as well. Or the children. Helping the children out with college or sports or whatever. This is also an offer to someone who is a soulmate. The lovers, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I got to be honest, I think this uh I think this king of swords is losing a soulmate connection. And they're worried that someone else is, you know, going to go find their empress energy or they're about to become the empress or even they are the empress. They're loved by a lot of people. They're stable. They're put together. They, they own their own responsibilities and their obligations. 
They do what it takes. A lot of people find this nine of pentacles feminine energy very, very alluring and very uh, desirable. And this king of swords knows this. It's almost like this king of swords is coming back and, and saying, no, 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 no. Don't go, don't go, don't go. But this nine of wands person It's almost like you're saying, why shouldn't I? You're not, you're not giving me anything here. Maybe you give me gifts. Maybe you buy stuff for me. But you're not, all you're doing is causing conflict. Why is someone being defensive? Eight of Pentacles. Work. Focus. Dotting the I's, crossing the T's. Being obsessed with money as well. Secrets. Secrets about the money, possibly? Or secrets at work? Someone listening to their higher self, they've got to start focusing on them. They have to start doing what's right for them. They have to start making decisions that put them in a position of sovereignty. Why is someone stepping into their, you know, pre-empress energy right now? Why is someone saying, you know, maybe I'm better off alone. Maybe I'm better off by myself. The star. Hopes, wishes, dreams, and goals. Networks and associations. The stars are aligned right now. And guys, don't forget the full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn energy is very detached with love. So the energy regarding exchanges in love or whatever, it's it's very subdued. It's very it's very practical. It's very like this is part of something I have to check off my list today. And I know some people don't want to hear that, but that's what that is. That's where the stars are at. And the high priest Someone wants to get married. Someone wants to be married. Someone wants commitment. Someone wants loyalty. This is their wish. This is their hope. This is their dream. And this is why maybe they're moving on. Maybe they're looking to see what else is out there. Where did all this conflict come from? The King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, or a third decan or third decan, Aquarius. Stubbornness. Someone just stubborn. I almost feel like this King of Cups is upset because someone found their value. They said, sorry, not doing this anymore, not playing this little game, not happening. And so it's, it's now causing this internal conflict with someone. But they know the reason why 
something is completing or something is ending is because someone was foolish and someone foolishly wanted to make somebody wait or keep them like stringing them along with something. And you guys know, I mean, all of us at some point in time have been in some sort of, you know, department at work or, you know, where there's promotions and there's, you know, salary increases and stuff like that. This is the boss that tells you, yeah, 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 you're going to get, you're going to get that a salary increase. You're going to get that promotion and you never do. It's just word salad. It's just putting it out there to, to keep you strung along so that they can take from you. They want to take because they don't even know their value. They're just used to using people. And maybe you're telling them, hey, you know, time has come, got to go. Why is the chariot here? Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands coming in thick and fast. I apologize for my nail polish, guys, but I'll it'll look better next time. But right around this time, someone is feeling like I I got to I got to get in front of this person. I've I got to talk to them. I need to talk to them. I have to set the record straight. I have to I have to know what's going on. I have to know what's going on. It's like all of a sudden someone is paying somebody else attention because that person said, I'm not putting up with your crap anymore. I mean, is that, is that what this is? Ace of Wands. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They want to re-spark the passion. They want to win. Somebody's demeanor might be changing. Before, they were really like standoffish and oh, whatever. Yeah, I'll call you if I call you. If I don't, I don't. If, you know, I'll give you your one text a day. I'll give you your two texts a day. You should be good with that, right? It's up to you. Maybe you're fine with that. And that's perfectly fine. But what if you're not? Again, it's up to you. So someone was holding on to something and someone didn't let somebody in onto what they were holding on to or they were blocking somebody from something or they were just being selfish. Why is this here? Six of Cups. Someone, as you can see here, this is, you know, a beautiful, a beautiful woman who's carrying the cup of love, but then next to her is this dragon. Someone is seeing somebody for who they really are. <clears throat> Maybe they thought they were soulmates. They were, you know, getting a lot of nice things. They were, you know, buying things for this person, whatever. And it's like, they're seeing them. They're seeing this I don't know, maybe somebody has an evil attachment to them or a toxic attachment. And um, they're seeing that, like when they look in that person's eyes, they don't see the soulmate that they saw before. They see something that's replaced it. Knight of Cups reversed, yeah. 
No offer of love. No offer of love. The offer has been rescinded. Why is this king of swords in his feels or in his mind right now? Eight of pentacles, all the hard work. So interesting. The eight of pentacles, and then here we have the nine of pentacles up here as kind of like a graduation. But the eight of pentacles, all the hard work. Looking for perfection. Looking for perfection when perfection was right in front of them. I'm hearing somebody, um, the pot calling the kettle black. You may want to look that up. The pot calling the kettle black. So while someone was looking at someone else and pointing out all their faults, they didn't bother realizing that one of those, three of those fingers were pointed right back at them. What's the other reason? Five of pentacles. Yeah. Error, mistake, being thrown out in the cold, um, loss of money. Not understanding one's self-value. So for what this is worth, everyone, all this energy that we've had, and remember what I said about the Scorpio full moon, all that toxic third-party energy had to come up to be dealt with, that, that nasty stuff, right? And it got illuminated. It got, it got put out into the open for many people. People got caught. And it's coming to an end. I said it would last until about July. The bifurcation is happening right now. And so what's happening is people are saying, I just, I, I'm not going to tolerate this. And, and by the way, one of the reasons, and I just want to put this out there, one of the reasons third-party relationships with like karmics, the, the reason why they happen is because both the karmic third party and the other uh, person that may be in a relationship, that other person gets their supply from the relationship. And then they share that supply with the karmic. So when the supply disappears, the third party disintegrates. Because it's no more fun, there's no more games, there's no more supply. Narcissists don't want to be around people who are depressed. So then things fall very, very quickly for everything. And really the only person that benefits is the person that was committed and loyal, possibly this nine of pentacles person. And they're finding their empress energy. Thank you for the lessons. I appreciate it. I'm moving on because I'm seeing now that I was around someone who didn't even know who they were. They didn't even know how to lead. They didn't know everything's falling apart. Why do I want to be around somebody who's being taken to court? Why do I want to be around somebody whose reputation has been sullied? Why do I want to be around somebody? That just shows who this person is. <clears throat> They're saying, I don't want to be around somebody who does that. 
I don't want to be associated with that. That's not who I am. I don't want to be around a manipulative boss. I don't want to be around a manipulative partner. I don't want to be, I don't want to be around it. But I'll tell you this. Nine of Pentacles, whoever that is in your life, or if that's you. They're coming back. They need that supply. This could be an old boss, you know, contacting me and say, hey, you know what? Man, we really miss you. We really need you here. We, your skills are crazy good. <clears throat> we're in a, we're in a situation right now. All they're going to do if you go back is throw you under the bus. They want somebody to blame. They don't want somebody to respect and appreciate. They want somebody to blame. That's what they want. The choice is yours. The energy is going away. Because divine feminines and divine masculines are ascending. And they're seeing things for what they really are. And when they remove their supply... Crap is going to hit the fan for everyone else who demeaned, who devalued this divine feminine or this divine masculine. It includes the karmic boss, the karmic lover, the karmic whoever, and it includes the, the fragmented feminine or masculine or whatever. It's going to be back to back to back to back to back. Whoever these people are, <clears throat> they can't fake it till they make it anymore. They've been exposed. They can't live the lie anymore. They've been exposed. There could be people in leadership positions that get demoted. There could be layoffs. There could be mergers. And that changes the dynamic of promotions or bonuses or whatever. It, it just, it is what it is. What is sad is that these people who have been triggered by <clears throat> the energy of third parties, they're probably the ones that are guilty and they know karma is coming for them. That's what this is. In fact, they probably already felt it. And they can't stand it. They can't even stand it. They're hella mad right now. How dare you leave this job and leave me with all of the karma I created? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. It's not my karma at all. But again, you decide. People can change. People can change. But you got to see it in their actions. You got to see it in their mannerisms. You got to see it in their responses to you. You got to see it in their interactions with you. You've got to see a change. People have to come correct or take your energy back. That's what I'm seeing here. I know this was a long daily, guys, but uh, I hope that this uh, resonated with you and I hope it helped you. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.